I think the past month has been good because the choice has become so clear to the voters. Trump has gone off script enough times, people have seen what he's really about. Um, and I think Secretary Clinton has had uh, an opportunity to go out and frame up the race. What has Donald Trump and his campaign done since the general election started to make your lives harder? Um, What's he done well? He gives us too much material sometimes. <laughs> uh, we have to sort of focus and, okay, we're only going to swing at this uh, now. I think occasionally when the teleprompter is in front of him, they've written the right things for him. But I do have to say, at almost every turn, and this New Hampshire example is a, is a perfect one, the second he deviates from the script, uh, he, he creates a fresh set of problems for himself. That could be a Mexican plane up there. They're getting ready to attack. When, he, when he's unscripted, you see who he really is, and that's why he has a 70% disapproval rating. I think she's been as good a candidate as I've ever seen her be in the last three weeks, and I'm wondering what's accounted for it. First of all, she's probably the most qualified person to ever seek the presidency. But there's always been a gap in, in, in last time, 2008 and now, between her qualifications and her ability to just perform as a candidate. I mean, I'm not sure that suddenly she's become magically this different candidate, but she has hit on the way to go after Trump. Some people would say you have to dismiss him, and some people would say you have to make him scary and big. What she has done, I think, very well is do both, which is, you know, diminish the man, but not the threat. Every campaign's got problems to solve. So two days ago, she went and gave her interview with the FBI, right? How, like, given that the, basically from the time she announced until now, the email narrative has been out there, how much of a toll do you think that's taken on her public image? To your point, this has gone on so long and revealed nothing. From everything I see, voters are sick of it. They're ready to move on. So we have to stay focused, keep the pedal to the metal, and, and keep communicating every day this key choice in this race. Can Donald Trump win this election? Yes, I think the number one problem we have is making sure that all these statements he makes every day do not lull people into thinking that this guy can't possibly win. It's dangerous to underestimate the sheer force of Donald Trump's personality. We could be 20 points up, everything can change.